This is no place for the weak or foolhardy. Hey, welcome to Rolling Hitches, and my name is Jason. <laughs> uh, we're playing more Torchbearer. Sounds uh, like a constipated. Jason! <laughs> uh, we've got a full crew today. Holy crap. We've got a new member. Uh, we got Mike. Hey. Um, character's name is Burden. It's a good start. <laughs> so, we'll see what that becomes that. We also got uh, Jerry. Hi. Hello, Jerry. Hello. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's it every single time. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. <laughs> uh, we got Jay. Hi. Uh, and we got Melissa. Hello. Hello, hello. Jerry's got a new character, too, because uh, that one... For some reason, got lost. Uh, it's decided to stay back behind, but we'll get to that. <laughs> some reason. <laughs> some reason. Um, Air quotation. <laughs> Air quotes. Uh, so <laughs> it's about the least noble sacrificing noble sacrifice on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> when we, when we, anyway. What about Sasuke? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's called war building. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, so um, I guess we'll just this one. So we 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 talked a bit. Now I got it already recorded about uh, the two new people about like kind of like where they're fitting in and all this. However, we forgot about doing. Oh, it's a... Uh, Rogers 99. Yeah. DD. Capital DD. Capital E. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Rogers. You're just going to take it over With a couple R's. Probably. If you know where we live, then I guess you get free Wi-Fi. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yes, so... Um, right, so... We, we talked with him a second. We'll, we're going we're gonna to find out how you all know each other. Pretty pretty soon. Um, however, we need to do a prologue, as as per the ritual of starting Torchbearer. Somebody has to do a prologue, and by doing so, they can get rid of a condition or replenish a tax nature. You do have all your conditions, and your nature is full. Okay. Uh, Jay, how are you doing? I know you did it last time. Fresh, and my nature is full. Okay, so I guess somebody do it. And so, a prologue, a brief summary of what happened last time on Torchbearer. I think I'm missing a page. Probably. Remember I had the, the extra page with the... Hmm, like um, that. The line paper? Yeah, it was like line paper that I filled oh, out. Oh, uh, it could be in these green folders here. So today is a little bit shorter of a session, which is, which is all right, because it's going to be like like almost three hours, two and a half, so... Oh, excuse me. I don't see it here. I go to extra sheets. Notes. Um, unless it's attached to anybody else's character sheet. That uh, I don't believe so. No. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, so These are extra sheets for anybody who needs uh, some cheat sheets and stuff, uh, and player's reference stuff. No. Um, no, I don't see anything here. Just character sheets, all I got here. Yeah, because the last one I have is... Did you have it in a book, maybe? Mouse ate my potions. Kept him. <laughs> Rations. Oh, yeah. Rations. Kept him. Right, that's the last thing you had? That's the last thing yeah, I had. from a couple of fucking ago. Yeah, that was a couple ago. Hmm. Yeah, and then before that, uh, it was the, the skeletons that we... we all right, owned. well, let me just check through my, my stuff here. I don't, uh... I got a couple of, uh things in here. Did anybody read the, the the campaign that was in the book? No. No? Okay, good. <laughs> Making sure, because that might be what I'll be running to the county and what you guys are doing. It might not, though. Because I do have an entire saga, actually. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be amazing if it is. I think this might be it. Nope, that's not it. That's mine. I need that. I spent all the, all the beliefs and stuff that I need to write down. All nope, right. I don't have it here. Hmm. So that's weird. That's weird. Uh, do you need the need it in order to recap? Yeah. Okay. Did somebody else want to recap then? <laughs> There's no advantage of recapping if you've got all your stuff done. So. Can you make it up on the spot? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of what. So the last thing that happened, for the most part, was 
Uh, there was a lot that happened because yeah. it was like I'm trying to remember where it began. Uh, darkness. Uh, we got, darkness. We, we got we got split up. I teleported out. That's right. Yes. Okay, you tried to drag yourself. Gimli died. <laughs> Gimli, Gimli got killed. Well, so right. So for the most part, I don't know. Like I can't give it the prologues, but yeah, because it was. Oh, wait, where did it? Because how did it? What room were we in when it started? Uh, you were you were you just finished the camp phase. In the in the baby smoke room. In, in the baby right, smoke right. room. Right, right in the smoke room. Yes. Baby room. <laughs> yes. And then, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then yeah, and we went into the next room. The trail of blood was like, yeah. We followed the trail of blood, which was confusingly described. I know. <laughs> right. you, you, into the into the next room. That's right. That had like um like a sarcophagus and. Right. I think more freaky stuff on the walls right. or something. Oh yeah, you got the thing in your arm too, your shoulder. I, I have two shoulders. Yeah, um, you got a wound um, though. No, oh, an injury. <laughs> it's like a thing in my arm, my shoulder. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you got shame. I hope my shoulder's in my arm. <laughs> Right Think could be a lot of things, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's why I was like blind stare. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, yeah, and we had, and then I don't remember how exactly it happened. Oh, you we tried to cast a spell. Yes, cast a light spell. Tried, yeah, yeah. First, uh, first, you went away. No, first, what happened was no, we opened their sarcophagus. No, the no, 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 we didn't do that until we got back, got you back. back together. Remember, because. We no, opened the sarcophagus. No, yeah. he, he, he was, he was gone by then. You, yeah, you right. yeah, so we went into the room. Um, uh, Kingfisher tried to cast a spell and messed it up and like teleported it. And at the same time, you'd gotten hooked by the like we'll enchantment thing in the next room yeah. over. And the light went out. Yeah, and the light went out. The, all went like the same round. Right. And then Junebug's standing there in the darkness going, What just happened, guys? <laughs> And and I, I got some light and ran after you. Yep. Or went went forward because that's the way that we had been going. And I found you like waterboarding yourself. Um, <laughs> What's your character's name? Uh, Han Dopio. Han is it? Most likely from dice rolls. Yeah. What was your belief again? Never trust a stranger. Oh no, my belief is nothing solves problems better than persistence. Oh yeah, I gotta put my name differently, don't I? Yeah, do we'll, I? We'll, we'll, we'll get that. You don't have to. Thing. I was but. lying. Um, nice but anyway, um, and so I, I hauled you out of the, the, the pool of water mm-hmm. you got your face stuck into, which is kind of extra disturbing because it turns out that's actually a gel- gelatinous cube thing. Um, so that's a little weird. And Kingfisher had like teleported up to the outside of the dungeon where he got himself uh, captured and tied up by some like bandits who were coming in. Um, and mostly just cried a lot, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Lost, <laughs> lost some uh, idea, lost everything. I really think like, you need to work on your belief a bit, though. It has to have a, a, a philosophy attached to it. Hit first is might not be a good belief. Because if you're working on your belief, sure. But if you're not going to hit something, you're going to d- dramatically do it in a way that you're not going to hit first. And, and they'd be like, oh, I can't hit the person first. No, if I do so, then yeah, I'm going against my beliefs. Hit non-believers first. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hit. What what god am I praying to? What god am I worshiping? Uh, whatever you want. You can say the god of life and death or whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Hit. The um, god of not hitting things. It's right. You can also yeah. be like the the, the Valar or whatever. <laughs> you can pray to yourself. I'm a Kingfisher. <laughs> God, Emperor. I, I, start your own cult. I heard of Kingfisher like last week. I mean, this is a new is a new belief. It's a new God. The Kingfisher. The no. no. And then continuing what was happening last week or last time. Um. We looked around the room that we'd ended up in and had that like pool of water. That's right. And it just it looked a lot similar to like the previous ritual ritual room room we had found, but water instead of fire, basically. I think. Yep. And then we went back into the sarcophagus room, opened up the sarcophagus, and I got myself stabbed. Yeah, and then we heard uh, Kingfisher and the bandits coming. So I like hid in one of the there was like um, I don't know there was like statues or something That's in the right, wall you hid in between them. and I hid I hid behind the statue and you hid in the sarcophagus, um, and they went oh yeah the room no the room and then yeah and then 
Bandits drag Kingfisher, like, they don't, they didn't find us, drag him into the other room. Gelatinous Cube did its, like, hello, I exist thing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes, it and, uh, chased her. And, and killed the bandits Gimli. and chased after the one, the, uh, the dwarf bandit, who we yeah. named Gimli, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> who had survived. Trust okay. And we, we waited to the very, very slow exit of the ooze, inching its way through the room that we were in. Okay. Um, and Kingfisher had rolled out of the way or something, and up into the sarcophagus. <laughs> no, with you. It was picked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, see. I dragged him into it. That's right, yeah. And then... What was your instinct? I heal when I can when it's safe. Always if, heal. If it's safe. Yeah. And then... We kept looking around, we found... Did we find, like, a, a secret door or something? Is that what happened? There was something with the yep. sarcophagus. We pulled, like, a rib or something. Yeah. Blood went into the door. Yeah, that's it's right. It's not really secret, because you see a trail. Like, well, okay. it's also not, like, you know... You had to roll for it, though. You had, a, you had, you had to roll yeah. a scout yeah, to find out. Yeah, we had to, we had to find it. Mm -hmm. It was a hidden door. You had to open door. the door, yeah. That's right. It was a yeah. rib you had to pull on, yeah. Yeah. And, yep. and that's where we found, like... Uh, the, the, what was the girl's name? Jorah? Jorah. Yorah. 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 Um, That's it. We found Yorah, who was being possessed by, like, the ancient spirit of the immortal whoever. That's right. Um, Hagar Fash, or something like that. That is not the name Hash, all. Hash Fash. I don't think you've said it right, the entire Half or Vash. Half or Vash. Has Vash. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, uh... And there's, like, a whole, whole lot of skeletons with... Okay, basketball. Basketball player skeletons. Yes, basketball player skeletons. <laughs> They're real tall. <laughs> um, with Hathor Bash. <laughs> um, Talking about in fact, Hathor Bash owns several skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, had his own league. <laughs> he's not trying to serve an army, he's trying to serve a basketball league. Yeah. No. Take over the world. Yeah. <laughs> Mad skills. Power of ball or whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> it's like high school music or something. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, and then we tried. We had to do a battle of wits with Huffer Vash. That's right. Um, we were attempting to. What were, we were attempting to get him to to let Yora go. That's right. Basically, mm -hmm. I think that's what we were trying to do. That's right. Anyway, we lost. Um, a lot. No, we no, lost no, halfway. No, we did. We did pretty good. Halfway. We did very good. Yeah. Yeah. We, had, we got him down to half. Um, he had a couple of choices to make, and he was one was a, uh, you can do a, a blood ritual. Yeah, we could have we could have bound ourselves to him further. You had very good me because Junebug and yeah. Cat. Um, <laughs> like which animal are you? <laughs> Junebug and Cat were, are already cursed, um, mm -hmm. which gives some kind of connection to Hathor Vash. Um, but anyway, after going through like all kinds of options, it ended up Kingfisher. Basically offered to swear his like services and stay with Hathor Vash um, because he was like the smoke baby thing yep. was actually some sort of like a, it was like an avatar avatar of valor yeah he yeah. was a star player of the team yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's right <laughs> it was like an avatar some sort of <laughs> powerful thing um, kind of a Larry Bird figure yeah. <laughs> Fit in with the rest of the league, but <laughs> it's a little bit like Space Jam, you know. <laughs> it was the one Looney Tune. <laughs> anyway, um, it was among the George. Yeah, no, no, I just want to just want to like watch Space Jam. <laughs> um, and then, um, and Pretty Kingfisher funny. was like, "I'll I'll stay and stay with you if you let." Um, me and Cat, or yeah, me and Cat go, mm -hmm. um, kind of thing. We, so we didn't free Yora. Um, There's one more condition. And, yeah, Very important there. condition. Uh, I'm getting there. Yes, and and, <laughs> and, and and Kingfisher had one condition for his like surrender, and it was that they would go after his his nemesis Sasuke. Um, and Hathor Vash was like, what? What? <laughs> okay, sure, I guess. Because Hathor Vash probably wanted to, you know, do the whole take over the world thing. Pretty much. Um, you know, it was more like a, alright. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now Hathor Vash is living with a 14-year-old who's really weird. <laughs> yeah. Kind of strange. <laughs> and, and some sort of avatar, which sounds a little bit like they might be like estranged lovers. I don't know. It's like a weird dynamic. <laughs> 
and uh, contract disputes. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and, we, that, and, and that Junebug story. And Junebug and Cat uh, yeah. got out of the dungeon and back to town without dying or anything. <laughs> so go us. Um, and then, and then we had our first contest. Yeah. And then, and, then, and, then, and then for the most part, um, you didn't pay your bills. And you just skipped town. <laughs> Did you pay a bill? I don't think you guys made a successful uh, resource roll. I can't remember actually. Uh, I mean, how do you pay bills after you I come up against the skeleton basketball league and smoke babies? <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> mm, true. I can't remember. I had a four lifestyle. You know, I remember I had to take one off of my circles. Oh no, my resources. Which I yeah. No, no I, I I didn't sit down. With, I I used my circles thing, didn't I? To to do something. No, you did point. a roll, but I don't think you, you can't remember. It should say if you had failed yeah. on your main page yeah. right here. Oh yeah, it does say fail. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's my resources roll. Yeah, you basically none of oh, you yeah, paid your bills. Yeah, circles and circles get knocked down. So <laughs> yeah, now you pay your bills because you're just like, eh, whatever. So, going back to that. I don't have many shinies anymore. So, uh, yeah, so recover condition or go up uh, your, your recover tax for your... Oh, yeah, I need more need. shinies. Uh, oh, I can put the sack back I never realized now. how much shinies actually meant in the game. Oh, it's huge. Until last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm like, no. So... Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Now you're not like going to be like, Tuba, you have all the stuff. My goal mm. is to have more shinies. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> we'll have arguments then. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. You run out of slots, right? <laughs> yeah, eventually you run out of slots. That's right. Yeah. Okay, no, I did have to leave. I had to leave one or two things, I think. I didn't get to uh -oh. take them all. Do you remember what I found in the freaking coffin? It was like two pennies. Are you kidding me? It was, no, it, was two, it was two D of pennies, technically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No. So it could have been two pennies, it could have been twelve. <laughs> That's right. There's enough of them. <laughs> um, so. Alright. I don't even have wine anymore, it's just water. <laughs> That's right. I was telling yeah. these guys, enjoy your wine. I need more booze. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so cool. Uh, to find more shinies. <laughs> shinies and booze. <laughs> So uh, we were we, we went through a little s a brief story with him. Okay. So we're gonna do a conclusion for you guys. Mm -hmm. So uh, as you know, like uh, the, the the town itself was being harassed by the shadowy figures going in, killing off people who were involved with the with the crypt. Yeah. So those killings, like you you've been there for a while, like you would have stayed in town for probably a month or more. Um, it's actually summer now. So it's no okay, longer nice. spring anymore. So we're going to go to next season because seasons yeah, matter in this game. <laughs> and, and also, the thing with seasons is uh, they do advance get towards the winter season, which is actually something where you can do some extra training and stuff right during winter. So it makes it makes a difference. So, um, so for the most part, the. Uh, um, the town, they're not too happy with you guys. Um, you went down there, you, they thought we were going to get back Yura. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they, you, you know. What did we tell them about Yura? Yeah, you haven't actually had a conversation with them yeah. yet. <laughs> so, for the most part, um, yeah, so what would you tell Yura's family? Are they still alive? <laughs> I don't know. What, what, was Yura's family still alive? I, I think it was <laughs> friends of family was was what like, was dying. The family themselves, I think the family survived. Like, at least the father. Yeah, I don't remember it being specified that Yoris family was there. Mm -hmm. No. I thought it was the so, kids and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so yeah. now... What, what, what do we tell them, Kat? Um, i say to you at some point. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you explain that your daughter has been taken over by a, a, a godly being? <laughs> you do you're dead to us. Emperor. No, you're not my emperor. <laughs> Do you think we should I mean, lie? I think they'll think we're lying even if we tell them the truth. Mm, not sure. Because that sounds pretty uh, Well, pretty there. the epic armband that you have and the epic... Uh, that I've not the... sold quite yet. That's right. Yeah. 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 I'm not saving it. <laughs> Doesn't really look the best, but uh, narrative time happening here. 
The other thing is, is we both are cursed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. So got that little curse going. Now yeah. we did say that curse was very specific. Yeah. Towards the specific. This specific yeah. But you can still be activated when we go on conquest, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, well, for the most part, the um, the father has been avoiding you, but the villagers have been kind of like giving you glares and harsh looks and stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm, especially honestly, I, did, I didn't ever think we'd find the girl alive, so mm-hmm. I just want to tell them she's dead. But you were the one who were you were kind of more. Well, King for sure was kind of really more involved. concerned about that whole thing. Hmm. Mm. So yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't know. That would probably give them more. We can just avoid the situation closure. altogether. Mm. But if she comes out of there and starts walking around town, as oh, yeah, she could try and trick them. Well, I don't know how well that thing would manage it, but <laughs> <laughs> open the mouth and all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, fellow humans. <laughs> I am just like you, very human-like. You eat human You're food. You're on my skateboard. <laughs> Hello, juveniles. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's too funny. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'd just like to get out of here kind of as quick as we can. Um, I mean, whatever, you. yeah, whatever, whatever you want. It's obvious the villagers know that we haven't been able to ascertain. Or yeah, I mean, we anybody. haven't gotten her back. I'd say that's so, pretty obvious. Yeah, but I kind of don't feel nice leaving without letting them know something. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. What will you do? What will you say? Well, let's sell all our shit first so that we actually get something for it and they don't drive us out of town before we get something for it. <laughs> well, I've already sold what shit I had. All right, well, we'll go sell my arm ring and then okay. we'll tell them. Um, yeah, that may be good for more food because we were kind of... I mean, I, I'm food. kind of playing as if, like, we did this before. I actually sold my arm so I don't actually get anything left to sell. Did we finish the time you had but... arm bands. I sold them during, during the time phase. All of it? I yeah. thought you had some mm-hmm. stuff. While you're working, walking towards the, uh, the, yeah. I guess the Whoever sold it to sh- or local something. shops or whatever, oh, uh, you come across a band of two folks. Um, this is a getting, band of two. <laughs> a band of two um, who has their own backstory. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Um, like do you like how uh, the question is like how are you got, uh, how are you going to be able to mingle with each other? So I guess um, the scenario of so what happened at the very end of when the band was breaking up, the band like, when when the group was was losing its members and it was finally getting down to like we're done. What what sort of scene would you would you account of that happening right now? So I think um, Burden got into an argument with the agent of Alessandro. Okay. Um, and during the course of that, it became very obvious that Burden is probably the reason why this person was there to begin with. Okay. So, you know, I don't know who that agent is going to be. Okay. I'll leave that up. Yeah, we'll, we'll here. figure that out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so it became very obvious. Some people were thinking... Um, so, if you're not here, we don't have to worry about this. Right, so they kick you out. <laughs> yeah. So there's this big confuffle with the 20 people, I guess, it was more than two. Okay. Uh, and, two <laughs> and, and then two people get ousted from the group, and they look like they're, they have like a bunch of like climbing gear and stuff with them. Looks like they were going to go head out to the mountains at some point. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, there's a big, there's a big uh, rant and roar, and two people basically get out from the group, and it caused a big scene in the middle of the of the. Can I like kind of eye them up and see if they have anything worth pocketing? <laughs> um, a lot of these people are kind of like the ragtag, look like kind of like hobos. Uh, <laughs> Probably I'm just going to say not, like, The two that got kicked uh, out yes, Not the whole group I have a 1B of treasure mm-hmm. Yes I mean, it's worn I, prominently I, on my finger I'm not 
necessarily the most worldwide person. <laughs> There's a big dirty gold ring right here. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and as for the other group, uh, most of these people, they have climbing gear that looks like it's been used a few few times too many. Um, and they're they're sort of desperate for cash. It's pretty evident. Ev- 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 that. Well, that's relatable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and why I'm eyeing them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. they're in a, they're in a bad bad spot. <laughs> yeah, any no any uh, money anyone might have had has been spent on the expedition in that. Yeah, zone. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So uh, does, does it doesn't look like they know us. something though. Like at least they know. Yeah. Well, he's got he's got at least going to get something. Yeah, the right. big gold ring. I kind of, uh, I'll kind of like nudge nudge cat and kind of point point out the two that got oust it. Um, just be like, hey, maybe you know we still need like, I mean, well, rations and, and stuff. Mm-hmm. Want to go? Uh, you, you go talk to them, maybe. Mm. <laughs> 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 the most innocent possible smile would be super fake. I'm like. They look like they're hobos, dude. Someone's <laughs> gotta look at the ring. Just, just go talk to him and distract Speak, him. Speaking to the speaking to the, speaking to the person who skipped on their bills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, technically skipped on their bills. <laughs> that was only because I didn't know the system at the time. <laughs> I mean, we look like hobos. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I look like a hobo. You look all right. <laughs> you probably got armor or something, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. do. Mm. You got leather armor. Oh, leather armor. Okay. You got leather armor. Too. We look like fancier hobos. Um. <laughs> yeah, but leather armor. I was, thinking, I was thinking you'd like some sort of metal armor for some reason. Yeah, so Burton's like sort of a thinnish dude, sort of prematurely aged, going a little bald early, which is weird for an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. That's excellent. Interesting. I love it. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, for the most part, the... Uh, the, the the crowd of people just begin wandering off in their own direction, leaving the two. Um, now, during the arguments and spitting out words, their battle of wits, you want to call it, mm-hmm. uh, we're not getting into that right now. But <laughs> there, are, there are words of treasures, golden crown, lace and jewels, and dangerous caverns yeah. in the mountains. <laughs> Those are the three things that were spit out. Yeah. And even as they're walking away, I'm like, no, but we can still go back. <laughs> it's, it's perfectly all right if we just band together. <laughs> they're like, if only we had a group of people willing to do it. <laughs> we'll get there first. Do you hear what they said? Yes. Shinies? Yes. I'm like watching the waving hand with the gold ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I see it. This gold ring. <laughs> <laughs> like a snake watching it. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> yeah, that's great. More or less. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, yeah. What do you think? We see if they need. Uh... I just kind of slink up and go. Did you say anything about shinies? <laughs> <laughs> you see a head like behind you. <laughs> Are you tall, cat? Like I'm picturing you as a fairly tall. Human. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably about five eight ish. Large human woman. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're half. I, I mean, I'm probably like three eight ish. I'm probably like three point eight or something, like, right? Like, oh, you're four six. You must be normal for a human. No. <laughs> who, who goes there? <laughs> I, I. No. Of course not. I. There may have been some talk of a crown. <laughs> <laughs> some talk of a crown. <laughs> what crown? Are you talking about a Groden crown jewel? <laughs> Lace the jewels. Lace the jewels. Why, you fool? <laughs> <laughs> but you have a ring that's like really, really sparkly. That, it's just funny how it turned Now he's going to be aware of it. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that ring that you're playing with now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it doesn't just disappear because you put your hand over it, okay? Where is it? I don't see it. <laughs> oh, God. Object, object permanence. <laughs> you're actually too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pardon well, my 
my companion, he hits first and then is hit in return. <laughs> Arr. Arr. What do you look like anyway? Like who? Yeah. So we've got we've got this elf over here. I'm a 15 year old kid. Um, <laughs> He's a year older than he was. <laughs> the wisdom. <laughs> So is it kind of lanky? Is is as tough as a fifteen year old can be? Mm-hmm. A few strands of hair. <laughs> I, lo- I love the way he added stats for a cleric. All health, no willpower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sixty! Oh my goodness! So he's a brute of a of a cleric. <laughs> yeah, can't think about anything though. <laughs> But a brute. Mm, dear. Human, right? Yes. <laughs> Are you interested in... I don't think I'm a god yet. In god? <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of god? <laughs> well, uh, which one? <laughs> you know, the one. <laughs> <laughs> so are you like one of those people that goes to two people's houses and then brags about God? Or... No, 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 no. I actually care about weapons. So... <laughs> I actually care about weapons. <laughs> you won't let me into the house. So, you... <laughs> so you scare them into God instead? Mm... Convince. Convince. <laughs> Convince. Oh, air quotes. Oh, Lord. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't care about any... Deity stuff, really. Um, oh, I'm an unbeliever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. But I do care no. about this crown. That uh, this the, how, are elves tall in this? Um, are they like human? This elf is not particularly. Yeah, tall. they don't. They don't necessarily. Like, so you've only got like a foot and a half on me instead. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's. I guess they they are fairly tall because it's Lord of the Rings elves. So. Okay. Oh, not, 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 short, not, 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 not keep. As I said, going to balding slightly. Apparently but still aged. pretty. <laughs> still pretty, but still pretty. The That's prettiest pretty. bald man. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Does this yeah. bull- God believe in shinies? In what? Shinies. Yes, it is. It is the god of unsleeping. And what, what better way to not sleep? They're being covered in shiny things, <laughs> for they reflect light. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to your eyes. <laughs> like ah. Oh. Yeah. Like, the, the little halfling. Yeah. I guess I just, uh. Mike doesn't know what my character looks like. Um, right. June Bug's this uh, a halfling, um, and I've got curly hair, which I don't actually remember what color of hair I gave myself because I don't know. It's red. I don't know. Yeah, I think so too. Like, cur- curly red hair, um, round. Round face, kind of like it's hard to nail down. Like very ambiguous. You're like, is this a woman? Is this a man? I can't really tell. It's definitely a halfling, though. Um, <laughs> short. Very short. Probably like three foot eight or something. Yeah. There's like a solid two foot difference <laughs> in between the halfling and the human. <laughs> yeah. Which is funny because you don't like halflings got, generally, but like yeah. you played him out pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. And uh, I've got like you know just leather armor and stuff, but bright red um, fingerless gloves. On my hands, or currently on my hips, and I'm like giving your companion the side eye here. <laughs> and I'm just a... <clears throat> yeah. So I'm like five eight, and I'm wearing a bunch of armor, and um, pretty like you know how Arya kind of with the the mud a bit about on her face and kind of always dirty. <laughs> yeah, like with I think I said human. like dirty blonde hair, so, yeah. kind of. Not like I look like a woman, but yet behave nothing like one yeah. <laughs> of the time, quote unquote. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. Well. <laughs> Little Brienne of. Yeah, Brienne but like not <laughs> as manly. Because she enough. looks really manly. I mean, yep. Brienne. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I love her too. <laughs> Especially when, what is it? What's his name looks at her? Oh, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like, no, 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 the, the red haired dude. Oh, I don't know. The, the, the Wildlings. Uh, yeah, the Wily, uh, The leader of the Wildlings. What's yeah, his name? I don't know. The Warriors. Anyways, he's like looking at her, staring mm, at her, and, and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's really funny. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, so, like, uh, I, I guess we'll have to speed along a little bit because mm-hmm. we're not going to be able to start the, the, the actual 
things. But uh, if you guys were interested in doing that, uh, let me know if you guys were interested in searching for this crown. Because uh, I do have uh, some options for that, but there's some side things I have going. So. Well, I'd say uh, June, Junebug is, is certainly interested, assuming nothing else interesting pops up kind of thing. You know, they, they've forsaken us. We don't need them. We can find something else. Wow. I, certainly, I, I, they seem very untrustworthy, but <laughs> we do need more um, companions. Uh, yes. Can. And, and Did they just call us untrustworthy? They're willing. <laughs> Are they? Is there more than just a crown? I hope so. Because if four people mm-hmm. one crown, uh, are we gonna like chop it apart and give each other like a piece? And that doesn't make sense. They'll probably take it for their own. Mm. This this crown you guys are looking for. There's there's like more like it's not just a crown, right? There's more treasure probably wherever this is. You might want to cut out a like two second of silence. <laughs> <laughs> can I uh, can I do a lore? Uh, no, you can just answer the question. Okay. Uh, just make just make sure. Uh, just, whatever you say is probably true. <laughs> <laughs> probably true. Hmm? We think it's true. You so think? the legend of the crown is it belonged to an ancient king, and of course it it um you would likely belong to his um funeral castle. Uh, yes. Funeral accompaniment. Um, mm-hmm. Certainly, he would have a sword. Um, some other things. The ancient kings, of course, they always brought in their uh, finest animals. So there would be a accoutrement with that. If you have a animals. steed, uh, if you have a steed, then there would likely be a war horse with there you go. armor, all sorts of stuff. Um, Did you just say animals? Yeah, don't you have one already? Dead. I think they're dead. I think your mouse is dead. No, it's not. (laughs) (laughs) Let me check. (laughs) I already fed him. All right, fair enough. No, that being said, since it's an old ancient king, it's probably filled with undead skeletons. Maybe. (laughs) He's... He is very true. However, though these things are overcomable with the the right attitude. Oh, you don't need to tell us that. Well, maybe you do. Yeah. He's... But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially after what just con- like conspired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you two seem to have been uh, ditched by your. We were we, we, friends there. We left voluntarily, and they are now friends. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> That's exactly what I look like. <laughs> so why did they kick you out? We voluntarily left because uh, we're too good for them. <laughs> That's not what we saw. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> there were disagreements. Um, certain associates of mine came into being and, and so forth and so on and, and eventually we decided to go our separate ways. Because um, they suck. <laughs> obviously they, they suck. have the superior numbers but I assure you we are very much uh, competent in, in, in the field of, of crown surgery. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, we're supposed to beat 20 people. 18. 18. 18. <laughs> Get to the crown fastest and get all the shinies that they're somehow not going to get. Sounds exciting to me. <laughs> and did I, see, did I see any? Were there any halflings in that group of twenty? Absolutely. Oh darn. <laughs> <Definitely. laughs> if there was no halflings, I'd, I'd have said something. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds better than sticking around here. As the people kind of glare at you from like a distance. <laughs> All the downs you know, seem to be eyeing the two of us. Yeah. Like, and now you're being associated with like that a little bit because they're talking to you. So now the glares are kind of shifting between <laughs> both groups. Like both. <laughs> is is there like a, a board? Of a sure, there's quest. a board. Like, like oh, no, there's no board of quests. No. <laughs> I'll just pull out one. Ah, kill a crab. <laughs> Kill, fuck. <laughs> uh, I think 
quest for the money, sir. <laughs> no, side not quest. Quite. <laughs> side quest. Yeah. There are side quests, but they're Please not. Please escort board. the sloth farmer. <laughs> yeah. To and from the I need escort quests oh so much. The worst. You're like walking. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 <laughs> you, you could do the, M- the MGS tree way. Where you could actually knock out the person you're escorting and yeah. just drag them. <laughs> that would be amazing, amazing if you could do that in WoW. It'd be awesome. Oh. It's, like, it's faster this way. <laughs> my favorite my favorite escort quest is in Inquisition, Dragon Age Inquisition, when you have to escort the uh, the Druffalo. Because it's great, because it just follows you. You don't oh, have to yeah. keep pacing oh, it. Oh, that's awesome. you're like, yeah. and, But then, it, then you have to like get it across the river <laughs> and like. And the like path a little gets messed canyon, up. And oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Alternatively, I've never done this. You can also run it through like the entire, go the long way around, run it through like the entire map. Probably I've never done that. Wow. But anyway, it's fun just because it follows you. So, do we see their glares at them too as well? Oh yeah. Do you think they got thrown out of town as well? Oh, we haven't been thrown out of town yet. <laughs> Get close though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They're eating but, our food. But, uh, we're, they're we're eating our beds. Where did we stay? We stayed, at, we we stayed at a flop house, right? Yeah. I think is what we stayed at. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I've gone through like three roommates in the past three days. <laughs> <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> no one seems to want to stay in the room with me. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to hear what the other quests are, but how the hell? Huh? I'm trying to hear what the other quests are. The quests are? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, well, you'll, you'll, you'll see as you, as you go mm-hmm. on. There's no actual, there's no board or anything. Yeah. Like, there, there is a way of getting other quests. Uh, yeah, and well, the like, fact I did, you, a, yeah. I did, like, a rumor search. Yeah, so you actually get to answer those questions. You. So you, your, your answers would make the next quest, because it was because unsuccessful. I, yeah, I, yeah, I failed it. Right? Uh, you didn't yeah. get to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you remember, Jerry? I, part of my town phase, um, one thing I did was I, I went and searched for rumors oh, yeah. kind of thing, right? Yeah. And if I passed my role, that would have been a way to build up a oh, new adventure, yeah. yeah. But it was a really yeah. high up. Yeah, I think so. Well, the, for every question, it was plus one, right? So you ended up getting three questions, so it was a three up. Or something, yeah. Yeah. I, don't I think know. it was just a role that I had really bad or yeah. sad I had bad Either way, I failed it. Both yep. dice are evil. Yeah, last time was bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we terrible friendly. luck. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, um, yeah. Okay. Well, we don't really have much of a choice, so shinies? Nothing. I'm always down. <laughs> as you, well, as you guys finally end up leaving town, the, the town which had like a big wall and a gate slams behind you. As, as if to say, <laughs> and don't come back. <laughs> uh, why? We just got here. It, you, you talk to us. It's okay. Don't mind them. Um. Mind the shield. Mind the shield. Go <laughs> there. <laughs> ah, my hand. Yeah. Coat tail stuck. <laughs> yeah, coat tail stuck. So, if you guys plan on going to that direction, um, it is up north. It is about, it's probably going to be about a week and a half journey. Uh, so, it's a, it's a bit of a long one. However, it's only about a week away from Iron Forge, which is where your carriage is from. Oh, yep. Uh, so, it, it's, it's going up north. Uh, so... Uh, before we start, that's uh, good though because my character's from Ironforge and she might know a lot about mountains or. Yep, you will get a bonus uh, with when you reach that area. Like local uh, area knowledge. It is a local area, area stuff nice, exactly. Nice. Yeah, so uh, that's a that's a an advantage. Um, yeah, but we don't have any climbing gear, and they've got like so rickety climbing gear. So what the hell? Uh, just to make. Clear. A week and a half north, about a week from Iron Forge, or about a week to Iron Forge, and then. Uh, so it's a week and a half to get to where the uh, Stone Dragon Mountain. The, the, yeah, Stone Dragon Mountain. But deep in Stone Dragon Mountain yep. is Iron Forge. Okay. Uh-huh. So that's another week's travel from in the, in the mountains range. So to get okay. to Iron Forge is two and a half. We're actually months. passing through to yep. get to Iron yes. Forge. You have to pass this uh, these mountain this, this mountain range in order to get to Iron Forge. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like. Yeah. We're here, mountains there, Iron Forge, like up there. Or yeah, something. and the pathways don't go straight through. That's that's the yeah. other problem. Like if you're taking the main road, which is I guess what the question I'm going to ask you, if you're taking the main road, or you're going to try to cut a path up. If you cut a path up, you'll you'll bypass some stuff, but that's okay. You're going towards what what you want to do. If you don't, 
uh, then is it, it's, you're, you're traveling the main road, so you could come and cross towns and all these, you know. And if we, if we don't take the main road, I'm guessing it'd be more dangerous, too. It could, yeah, possibly, yeah. Different kind of dangerous. Main road, probably bandits. Uh, not main roads. Wildlife and danger. Skeletons. Yeah. Inexplicably aggressive wolves. Yeah. Yeah. The area that you're in right now is basketball challenges. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. That's we right. Right. might have to, uh, might have to Brand, shoot him. Yeah. At least we got enough. Yeah. That's right. I can jump really high. <laughs> Not tall, but you know, like the short ones always jump really high, right? <laughs> I, have the thing, right? Yeah. I, I actually am the ball. <laughs> oh shit, the ball. So, um, let me know what you're doing, what, what, what kind of pathway, actually, first of all, before we start, who's the leader of the group, and who is the map maker? I'll be the map maker. You're the map maker? Okay. So, that's your role for this one, is the map maker, you don't have to have to draw the maps or anything. Okay. However, it really goes on your cut, uh, uh, cartography skill, right? Okay. So, you got at least something cartography, right? No. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but I does think... An, does anyone have a I'm so studied that it will be yeah, easy. That, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. 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 I've, I've, started, I've started, started doing the leader. Leader. the leader? You're going to be the leader? I am the leader. <laughs> okay, this is going to be interesting. Because you were the leader last time, you can't be the leader twice, right? You don't right? have a cartographer. <laughs> the cartographer was Kingfish. That's right. No. Leader. Kind of cartographer. That's <laughs> right. I have Pathfinder, too. Yeah, that's a possibility. Something. Yeah, I've got skeleton survivalist. I don't know if those are. Oh uh, yes, survivalist. Or the, it'll come into play. Uh, so with this game here, like you don't really announce like your skills. You just announce what you're doing, and I tell you what the role, right? So right. So there we go. We got it. So we got the leader, the cleric. Uh, we've, for this adventure, and we have the map maker, uh, the elf. <laughs> So, and the other two are just, just, I, wait, there is another one, is there? Is, is there another role? Is there another? Is there another role? Is it? The, is I remember there were the, two, and, and, there the, two? and the lantern bearer. I guess. Oh, right, well, that's the torchbearer. Right, bearer. Yeah, the which torch we don't have to worry about at the moment. No, but who is going to be the torchbearer? I have it right now. Okay, okay. fair enough. You have the torchbearer. Okay. You, were, you were good Right at now, it. you don't have to worry about it, because... <laughs> You're a bitch of sunshine. All right, so... Question is, are you taking the main road, or are you going to go across, cut across the, the country, the woods, and go through the wilderness? I go to the main road. Main road. Main road. Yes. Okay. Because I am a city. Yeah. Taking the main road, you don't need to roll anything, because you're just trucking down. Uh, however, during the travels... Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys, yeah, yeah, road. Pretty much, yeah. There's nothing, nothing particular there. Uh, you come up um, <laughs> uh, about a day's travel. Mm -hmm. uh, you pass the crypt, you know, where you guys were to before, uh, and it's starting to get nightfall. And you come uh, come to this uh, place with a big sign, and it says "House of the Three Squires." Oh, that's the inn that we first. Um Met, Met up with Kingfisher app. Yep. Okay. Who's yeah. this Kingfisher? Did, <laughs> no one you need to worry about. Um, <laughs> did, did, how did we leave that in? <laughs> are uh, they going to be happy to see us? Uh, or, or like neutral to see us at least? Yeah, what, what did happen? That's a good question. Yeah, I don't know. Did, uh, did you guys pay, uh, pay your bills when you were there? Or did yes. you guys just get a drink and go on? And I would assume they don't really even remember you. Yes. I I okay, so so yeah. they probably don't even re remember you as yeah. much. You're just a regular patron. Came on in, and you left. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Okay. So the house of the three squires is just an inn. It's a large inn. It does have fortifications, kind of like Bree in a sense that uh, you know in, in in Lord of the Rings where it's just like a the, like a little slidey thing, uh, and that's right in front of you before you, you by even the corner, get in there. You can see a. Peter Jackson eating a carrot. That's yeah. right. <laughs> so there's a door. It just has a little slidey thing, but the, it's slightly ajar. Um, and when you go into there, I can oh, give you a description. Okay. All right. Uh, it's been a day. Let's let's get some rest. Mm -hmm. All right. The door's ajar. The door's ajar. Hmm. I paid no June, attention. <laughs> June book's going to kind of like pause. When, when, I, when I, I see just that and go like, back a little bit. Like, zzz, yeah. yeah. As is for, this is a date behind June Boat. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a dangerous like, and wild <laughs> land filled with forbid, forbidding forests and savage monsters along their lonely roads. Build civilization together. Found way houses. This is one of the way houses. Fortified inns where travelers may rest 
and drink some uh, stout behind the walls. Uh, the House of Three Squires is such a way house, situated on a lonely road, stretch of road, uh, easily a day's travel from the nearest town, which would have been Scogby, which is where you guys just were from. Uh, the evening is cold and blistery. Okay, it's a, it's a cold summer, apparently. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was hot and too warm. <laughs> How's that? Humid. Uh, and and when you arrive to the stockades that surround the House of Three Squires, you have built up a thirst for one of the famed Three Squires sour beers. Mm-hmm. The stock, yeah. Mm-hmm. The stockade gates stand open and unattended, occasionally slamming home with a great thud. As the wind catches it right. I don't know if I have anything for this. Um, oh man, Kat, did you have any other any of that ale while we were here last time? Nope. Oh, you should. I think we just kind of got <coughs> out. You're underaged. I'm, I'm 28. <laughs> I'm 16. <laughs> Is it underage for a halfling or for a halfling or whatever? I don't know. Uh, halflings probably wean on <laughs> the stuff. Let's be real. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Alright. Um, it does not take you long to realize that something is very wrong at the Three Squires. Mm. Not only is the place open to the elements and undefended, it seems deserted. And then you find a pool of congealed blood. Whoever or whatever it was behind that left that blood, something, it appears to have been dragged off into the kitchen and then into the cellar. <coughs> so, uh, everybody, write your goal. So a goal is something that you can accomplish in a session or something you want to accomplish for this adventure. Mine's already. <laughs> get some shinies. <laughs> um, yeah, get some shinies. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Look it for all it's worth. I don't even know how the hell we're going to pay for beer if we decided to get beer, let alone... Well, it's empty, so we probably just take the beer. That's right. Um, <laughs> Do we want to be, like, burned out of every fucking... Bar? I don't know if you've noticed this yet, Kat, but I'm not the most honest person on the <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, the opposite. <laughs> Great. You're, like, um, distraction. I'm, like, you got a ring on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, trying to hint, like, hey, go be a distraction. Like, hey, <laughs> goals, goals can only be achieved once, is it? Uh, um, yes, once yeah. the goals are achieved, they have to be replaced. And the goals cannot be simple as, I want to drink... From a flask, or I want to eat a ration. You I can't, want to wake up in the morning. Has to be a, uh, an achievable goal. <laughs> so adventure. for like yours, if let's say you want to collect like a ring, and then it's done, is it? Um, sort of. So it's it's collect for all. So goals. What you say? You just collect all the shinies, right? To find more shinies. Right. So find more shinies. Um, it, it's okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Find more shinies. I mean, the thing is, is that, so that that's something that you'd actually have to work to do. Yeah. It's not like it's you not exactly. Just, Pull it out of your pack. And right. Say, hey, I've done There's my goal. no defined time when when more shinies equals all shinies, or you know. So that one there is really a, what's called a fate generator, where you can get fate points by by doing that one. But there's no real end goal to it. If it was collect all the shinies or loot it for all it's worth, then there's actually or an to end get goal. The crown. Right. But there's no crown in this spot. No, but, I'm but, just saying but that would be general. Yeah. Like, that will become um, to play. Uh, how this works? Determine the character of my new companions. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd be working towards that goal the whole session. Yep. Okay. Um, so that'll be your goal. With. I'll write that down here because I'm gonna grab my other coke. Sure, no problem. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I've got Diet Pepsi here. There's some in the fridge if you want gold instead. So I know this was kind of railroading, and I don't really like doing this. However, because it's another introductory quest, uh, it'll help Mike get into it. That's kind of, but but generally speaking, I would be more free, open world, and yeah, also on a timer yeah. too, right? Yeah, that's no problem. So, um, thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. No, it's okay. Uh, so, what's your goal, Cat? To find more shinies. To find more shinies. Uh, is it okay that your uh, goal is not something that you can achieve? Um, Right away? Right, yeah, right away. Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, finding more shinies is great, but, I mean, what's the, where's the cap? Right? Like, where do you go? That I've achieved my goal. I guess you could say once the place is empty. Once I've enough, I guess. Yeah. Once I mean, you like, your pockets are full. Yeah. That's true. That's, that's true. There you go. Full. That's actually, that's legitimate. Yeah. But you can't carry any more. You pretty much did everything you can. Yeah. All right. Junebug. 
Um, I want to find out what's happened at the end. What happened? Junebug is, is a little concerned about these lovely people who make this beer. That's right. And you uh, probably met these people before. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've stayed here before. It yeah. felt like there's a... Co- I had a very a good pers- conversation with the bartender. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. right now, right? Something weird <laughs> happened there. This drink is, you were like, Look, I got to hit him. You're like, you're okay. like I'm going to leave became, this place. No, but she became determined not to have to run out of town again. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so, and I've got a hidden depth trait. <laughs> uh, what, what was, what's your uh, uh, goal, Han? Huh? To smash some heads. Smash some heads. Yeah. Okay. Are you a paladin? A cleric. You may as well be a paladin considering how buff he is. That's why I was I like, always find the line between those two gets really blurry at the end. Mm-hmm. At, at first I thought cleric There's There are some like, real cleric y paladins. It's like, yeah, and so, and what was your goal? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Uh, determine the character uh, of one of your companions. Determine. Yeah, how you, yeah, how you geared it.